All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Before we get started, I'm gonna be doing a surge graph video and specifically we're gonna be going over the auto optimizer feature, which I actually haven't seen in any other tools. But before we talk about that, I just wanna mention that we are still doing a giveaway this week. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment on this video below, and that'll give you an entry into winning. What are we giving away? A three, you get to choose between three different pieces of software. Marmoff, Tier 2, we've got Copilotly, and voila. So you'll be able to choose between any of those three softwares this week. We'll be doing the drawing on this coming Monday. Okay, so let's jump in real quick. So we are right inside of Surge Graph. I'll leave a link below if you wanna go and check it out and sign up, I believe, for a free trial. But their pricing is very reasonable and pretty impressive. I guess I will go bring that up real quick. So we'll go Surge Graph, see if we can pull this up. And then I'm just gonna go click over here. It's gonna take you down to the pricing page right here. <clears throat> and so if you are willing to commit to them, then you can get it for $14.69. I'm sure you have to probably just pay one time for that. But you can certainly go in at one month for $43.99, and this is ridiculously insane. You're going to get unlimited words, unlimited documents, and so forth. So if you want to go and check out the pricing and so forth, but let me, more importantly, just show you what the tool actually does. Actually, and they have a really good 12-month plan at um, just $24 a month right now. So I think that SurgeGraph really understands their customer base and the pricing for what they're coming in. Brand new to the AI content generation game, right? So this started off as an SEO tool and a keyword research tool and so forth. But it's been fun to work with them in the background and see what they've developed over the last several months to build a, a tool that can compete with other tools on the market for creating content, uh, AI generated content. And they're coming in at a really nice price point, which I think is impressive. Instead of coming in and, you know, asking straight out of the gate, asking $100 a month or something like that. I, I think that in general, that's just not going to work for most tools right now. But what this tool, I think that you're going to be really impressed by when you see what this tool is. If you didn't get a chance to see my f review on this, I actually released that yesterday. So go back and just watch the video from yesterday and then come back and watch this video as well because I did a full in-depth review of just all the different things. Went over the keyword research side of Surge Graph and so forth, right? So they really do have you covered with all the different tools. But we're gonna come in here and I'm gonna go and just go with an article that I've already created in here. It says I'm still in the writing process, but you can actually have teams in here and you can actually say that you're in the outline stage, writing stage, optimizing, completed, move to trash. So once it's done and published on a site, then you can actually just move it to completed. But right now I'm gonna go and we can see that we have some optimization that we can make this content better. So we're at a 60 right now. And this was just for fun that I created this article right here. How much money did Top Gun Maverick make? So we have this. And this is the cool feature that they just built in. So we can come over here and go over to the SEO right over here. They click on the SEO side. We'll come down here and we'll see we're at a 60. So it's adequate. It's probably okay to publish, but it would be nice to get this up into green over here, right? So we're going to come down here and you can see this auto optimize button. So I'm going to go ahead and click that button right here. Analyzing our content, 30%, 50% and so forth. So it's going to analyze the content automatically and use their proprietary algorithm to discover opportunities that they can insert LSI keywords, NLP keywords, and so forth, right? And so then we're going to go, so right now it says that it's formulating the relevant SEO suggestions right here. And then now it's saying your request is now being processed in the queue. Thank you for your patience. If you'd like to skip the queue, you can do so with a custom API key set up one here. So the custom API key, maybe perhaps we can actually utilize our own open AI key and put, um, that's really cool. That's also different than what you're going to see in Surfer AI or something like that, right? They're not going to be heads up honest with you that they're basically getting the content from open AI and they want to charge a ton, you know, five to 10 times more than what you're going to pay for surge graph. Right. And so, and you know, I mean, I'm really just from a pricing standpoint is all the only argument I'm really going to make because I'm not a surfer uh, customer. And so I can't really speak to the experience, but I did watch some videos on some full demos of it and it doesn't really, the surfer AI content that's coming out is definitely not more impressive than what Koala, Zimwriter, or Agility Writer can come up with right now. And right now, this newcomer to the market as far as AI content's concerned is Surge Graph. So I want to continue to dissect this tool and see what it can do for us and so forth. And I'll try to do some case studies so we can get some of this content ranking and then I'll come back and I'll share those with you as well. So right now it is still formulating right here we're at 97%. I'll come back in just a second when this is done. 
Okay, so we're back. That literally took about two minutes, so definitely worth waiting. I don't know if I'll put my API key in there or not, but certainly you can just use their 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 API and their full you know server and bandwidth and so forth, right? Re their resources. So as you can see, everything in green right here. So we have optimized, optimized. So it actually optimized the title. How much money did Top Gun Maverick make? I think that that's already optimized. That's what we had added. Add target keyword to the URL. I believe we already had that as well. So those two were all are already optimized, but we have add contextual terms. We have 22 opportunities right here. And then you have over here, add decorations. I'm not really sure what that means, but we can add more stuff. These look like just NLP type keywords and, and stuff as well. But here's what we're looking at right over here is that if we go and look at this, this is what it's suggesting that we can actually add this to the content. So if we click on one of these, it's going to show you where, and right here, you can see that it's going to tell us add contextual terms. So it's going to, going to rewrite this paragraph and it's going to incl include the keywords that, so like right here, it's wanting to include grossing movie. So you can see right here, grossing movie. It's going to include that. Films, films are right here. Dom domestic box office. So right here, domestic box office and year and so where's year at right here so it's adding all these nlp keywords right here and it's going to add those so like we can click on anywhere and it's going to show you it's going to take you to that point in the article and it's going to also propose to you it's going to keep the context in the the paragraph but it's going to in in many cases it's going to rewrite an entire sentence and it's going to add those nlp keywords so this is actually genius this is a dream come true because I've developed different ways to do this with ChatGPT and it requires us leaving this tool, going into ChatGPT and having to insert those keywords and ask, you know, prompt it and, and so forth and then copy and paste that in here. But what this is intelligently doing, this takes it to not even just the next level, this takes it to like three or four levels deep because it's going to analyze the entire content, which it did, and it's going to take all these different keywords right here that we want to try to work in in a natural way and so by when we click on these it's going to go to completely different paragraphs in the content right and is going to add a bunch of keywords in the paragraph that makes sense so it, it kind of groups these together right here grossing films or grossing movie films domestic box office year and it's going to add those in right so Instead of just writing one giant paragraph or two and then throwing it in your article, which kind of is what I was doing, if you want the quick fix, right? This is going to scan intelligently and in multiple different paragraphs, you'll be able to do this, right? And so what we can go ahead and accept, and if we accept that, it's going to say that this was optimized right here. And then our score is gonna, our topic coverage is gonna start going up and our score is gonna start going up as well. So we have Grammarly right here. I can go ahead and fix that as well. We have showing 71 items that can be auto-optimized. Now, you can also click the hide optimized. So if you've hidden, you can hide what you've already optimized. A couple of things that I've, I'm noticing right here is that like on this one, it says that we're going to add weekend to this paragraph right here. The movie had some strong, but then you can see all these other ones down here that say weekend as well. So I think that it's um, not really sure why we're adding weekend in so many times where that's the keyword that we're trying to optimize for right here. So that's something that right off the bat, I'm noticing that there's that we're, we're like over optimizing for a weekend. For fun, I do want to come up here and just accept all to, so I can show you what it looks like. And then also I want to see what our score, our score was at 60, right? So I'm going to say accept all. And then it just optimized all of those, right? And then we're gonna go up here and then we can click the hide optimized. And now we're into this decorations area where we have all these, I, I'm gonna say that these are the NLP keywords that we really want to add in here. If I click on one, it's, it's just going to add decorations, special effects. So where is it going to add this at? Special stunts. Where is, oh, okay, so it's wanting to add stunts, daring stunts in Nevada. It's gonna add that and we just accept. So if we come in here and we accept all for fun, we just 
optimized for like dozens of NLP keywords at the same time. And then we also added in a bunch more earlier. So then now we've just increased our score from a 60 to a 65, which is super, super cool. There's probably a couple more things that we can do. If you come down here, they've got a pretty in-depth SEO uh, feature over here at telling you what you should do, like our title length to around 60 characters. It looks like we are at currently at 40 headings and so anything that's in a red check mark means that you can do some improving add the number of internal links to this we so if you already know you're going to add your internal links maybe later on in your process so let's say that you are doing that in wordpress then you really don't need have to do that right here you could do that just so you can see if you can get your score up there but i would say once you probably get this up to about a 65 you're probably by the time you add in your links right here add a number of outbound links to one so even if you just did those I'm going to go ahead and do that just for fun. Use frequently linked pages in your outbound linked and used target keywords as your anchor text. So I'm going to go and do that real quick. I'm not going to bore you with doing that. I'll show you what I've done and then I'll come right back. All right, perfect. So we've done, we've added some links in here. The score did go up. We didn't completely change this down here. Not really sure why. I don't know how to link it to where it knows that it's in an internal link to your website. And possibly if we import the URL, that possibly that's how you're gonna be able to do that. It's gonna know what website you're actually trying to optimize for. But as you can see, we started with a 60, we're at a 67 right there. So really, really easy. You can come up here and just make some of these adjustments right here. Um, you'll be able to see how many images you have, paragraphs, headings, words, all the different things that you'd be expecting and wanting to look for in order to optimize your content. We are at a college graduate level. The stuff that we're talking about here, financial inform information and so forth, it's gonna be hard to not be at that higher level, but if you could make some improvements right here, then that would be great to try to lower that score right here. I don't really know what the decorated text used are, but that's what they call them in here. It does, it is recognizing the four outbound links. And so that is probably helping our score over here. It is saying that it's a transactional, it's measuring it. The user is seeking to make a purchase. I don't definitely don't think so. That's that, that part right there is wrong. No one's going to be making a purchase. This is an informational type post. I think it's because of all the context of the post has a bunch of money and, and so forth that it's talking about. And so that's why the AI is probably labeling it as transactional. You always need to use your common sense when it comes to that. We have eight more improvements that we might be able to, let's see if we can auto optimize it again. And it's fast again at this. Okay. So we, it found, we have everything's optimized. So we're looking good there. <clears throat> so in order to continue optimizing this, you would want to come in here. We can go into contextual terms. We could try to add some more terms if we wanted to, two sites linked to this right over here. So we could actually use these. I mean, look at all this research that's already done for you. We can come in here and link to these sites right over here. So if we wanted to, we could maybe come over here and just highlight domex domestically and maybe push the plus button right over here. And then literally we just highlighted this. Let me look right over here and see what that link is. So look at gross domestic right over here. It literally just added that link in. So we can come over here. Your external links are going to be ready to go. So big bucks wherever we can go. And let's just say blockbuster films. Let's say we wanted to click that one. And then we wanted to make this link right over here. We could just push the plus button. And then now this becomes a link. That is super cool. I just discovered how to do that right in front of you. It, it I used kind of common sense and just logic and it actually worked. You literally just come in here, find some of these sites you want to link to, highlight the term and then push the plus button and you have your external links good to go. So that's really, really cool. And you can actually see how we just moved from a 67% to a 69% just by doing some external links, right? And you know that when you go into your WordPress dashboard, you copy and paste this in and you add in three to five or up to 10 internal links, you know that the scores is gonna go you know, off the charts. It's gonna go on probably another 10. So you can always look at this and know that it's going to be more based on your internal links. And then let's see what we can come over here and we can add questions right over here. If we wanted to, we can come in right over here. Let's just say we want to push up the return right here. And then I want to add this last one. Why did Top Gun Maverick make so much money? We could push the plus button right there. And then what we could do is write with terms, write for me. I'm just going to say write for me, highlight that and say write. Actually, you know what? I'm not really sure how that part works. I'm going to copy it just for fun and I'll show you why, but we're going to highlight that and I'm going to come back over here. I'm adding some, a couple more keywords to the end of that. I'm going to highlight this and now we can say write for me. And so now the AI you can see right over here is going to write. You do need 10 words when you highlight that in order for it to go out and write for us. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just highlight this whole thing and push expand real quick. All right. So here's what it looks like. 
I will say that it, that takes a little longer than you would expect. It took about 15, 20 seconds, and maybe they're kind of being slammed because a lot of people are coming to SurgeGraph right now, probably running from Surfer AI pricing. But you can see right here, Top Gun is a highly anticipated sequel to the original. So it's going to add this in. This part's a little fluffy. We don't really need to answer the question again. So you would literally just click this and all this content would be added right here. But I don't think we need this content to make this content better. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. But that just shows you how the adding AI part works. At any point, you could write your own, you know, your own H2 or something like that if you wanted to, and then just have the have the AI writer write for you, okay? So we got it to a 69 right here, pretty cool stuff. Again, we could add some more stuff, some more SEO features if we wanted to. You have the ability to come through here, and we can actually, we can go to view preferences, and then we could actually look at show terms, show used terms and unused terms. So if we click that part, then we're all gonna look at all these that are not being used. And then we could actually come over here and say filmmaker, and we could actually highlight this over this text over here, and we can rewrite with terms right over here, and we can insert right over here, we could insert I'm just going to say filmmaker because we want to put filmmaker in there right there. And then I can say boom. And it's going to actually rewrite this paragraph and it's going to add filmmaker inside of there, right? And so you can actually start tackling, rewriting some of the paragraphs and tackling these unused terms over here. And then if we do this process, we'll be able to increase our LSI and NLP keywords, which in the at the end of the day are going to raise the adequate score or the total SEO score that you're going to get. Okay, we're back. I did have to wait a little bit of time and I am looking at the paragraph that it was supposed to rewrite for us with the term filmmaker and that did not work. So, you know, none of these tools are going to be perfect. And in this case, this one, it didn't work when we asked it to rewrite this particular paragraph. I'm not saying filmmaker, but what you can do as well is you can actually come over here and take all these keywords right here and you can, you don't even have to worry about the, like the numbers in here. You just copy, control C, copy those. Then you can come over to chat GPT and you can say something like this. See, I pasted these all in right here. I write a paragraph that includes all these keyword terms. The topic is how to how much Top Gun Maverick made at the box office. Here are the terms. And then I just pasted them in and then look at what chat GPT4 did for us. And you can see right over here, it did add in Bradshaw right here and so forth. So I wrote this paragraph over here and we're gonna go ahead and just copy this paragraph right here, copy, and we can come back in over to Surge Graph, and let's just say we're going to paste this in at the bottom over here. I'm gonna right click and paste as plain text, and then we just move this to a 75, right? So, because if we go to contextual terms, it literally used all of those. We can go back over here and we can say, you see unused. We used all the terms right over here. So, SurgeGraph is continuing to improve their tool and the auto optimizer feature was really, really awesome. It instantly improved. You could already see the, the content was at a 60 right out of the gates, which is pretty cool. Very, it's getting you really close and, and, and it's on the high end. But then when we did use the auto optimizer tool, we got another five points. We added in a couple external links. I saw, saw how showed you how easy it is in search graph to do that as well. We got the content to a 67 very quickly. And then by just grabbing the rest of the contextual terms and going and using ChatGPT for a few seconds, we got this to a 75. It's well optimized. We are ready to go. I would recommend reading this. And then I also would recommend coming in here and splitting this text up because it's just a giant paragraph. And then you've got your content over here. So we've got to a 75. Super, super cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to comment and like if you want to be in the drawing or for the giveaway for Monday to win for a chance to win a free piece of software. It'll be a content writer of some sort on AppSumo. If you want to check out Surge Graph, there'll be a link below. I've already got people signing up, which is super, super cool that recognize the va true value of this tool. Go watch my review from yesterday. You'll see all the details, all the, the keyword research functions and the, just how this Surge Graph can be a complete solution, SEO solution for you as far as SEO and keyword research and content creation and content optimization. It does everything all in one, super cool stuff. They're continuing to improve daily the tool and so forth. So make sure to subscribe because the next video I'm gonna create an entire, I'm gonna do some keyword research in front of you. We're gonna write the content, we'll look at that, we'll auto optimize it, and then we'll continue, we'll get the content actually published and I'll publish it, maybe, maybe I'll publish it on the gardening site, right, as a test. All right, so we'll see you in the next video.